Greetings, Portal Masters. It's Lou from Activision, and I'm really excited to be here today to give you a brand new look at Skylanders Trap Team. Now, Skylanders Trap Team is our new game, and it's really, really cool and really exciting because for the first time ever, you actually get a brand new power, the ability to capture villains. Now, these villains are actually escaped from Cloudcracker Prison because Chaos broke them out, and now they're exploring the whole of Skylands, and it's up to you to track them down and use a brand new toy, a trap, to actually capture them. But once you've captured them, you can then put this trap back in the portal and you turn them to good, allowing you to play as the villain for the very first time. Now today, we're showing you a brand new level, Soda Springs. It's this crazy soda festival, a lot of fun stuff's happening, but some of those most wanted villains are causing a ruckus. And it's actually the start of our game, so what better way to show you Skylanders Trap Team than with a really, really cool introductory level that we're going to show you here for the very first time today. Alright, so it looks like the gulper is causing havoc in Soda Springs. Wonder where my Skylander operative is. So we're gonna start this level off by bringing in Dark Food Fight. Eat this! Alright, in this Dark Food Fight, we're gonna check out what's going on with Buzz. That's a Skylander, alright. My name's Buzz, head of security and secret ninja commando operations around here. <clears throat> now, how's about we go investigate all this ruckus? All right, so You're Buzz is asking us to investigate the ruckus, stuff. see what's going on and how the gulper and the other villains are tearing apart soda springs. You can even see how they're leaving pools of soda in their wake. We've got grape-flavored soda and orange soda puddles here, as well as a river of orange soda that we're going to have to cross. Luckily, with Dark Food Fight, we've got an awesome tomato launcher which we can use to clear our path. Only thing better than a key is a loaded cannon pointed at a locked door. Fire away! But it looks like here we've got too strong of a barrier for our tomatoes. Luckily, there is a giant vat of soda bubbled and ready to go. So let's unleash some of that carbonated pressure. We can use that powerful orange soda to blast our way through. We've got some turtles in the way. Luckily, they don't mind a dip in the orange pool. We're going to push them and create a bridge. And over here, we're going to introduce you to a brand new feature in Skylanders Traction. Something fun hidden throughout the levels. This is Troll Radio. This is an urgent news bulletin. Skyland's annual soda festival has been cancelled. All trolls are encouraged to flee the area immediately and steal as much soda as they can carry. And what's great about Troll Radio is that you can actually change channels. Sometimes you'll hear a dedication show, hearing the theme songs of your favorite villains, and other times you'll actually win a cash prize. Well, now that we've won our cash prize, which we can also use to upgrade our Skylander, we're going to push forward, creating another bridge with these turtles, and hopefully we're going to track down another most wanted villain. Careful, Skylander. This may look like an ordinary harmless little sheep, but I can personally assure you that sheep creep here is bad news. In fact, He's supposed to be in Cloudcracker Prison for leading an ill-fated sheep rebellion. But hey, this gives us a perfect opportunity to practice our trapping skills. Go ahead and take him down for me, will ya? <laughs> sheep Creep. So Sheep Creep's a trappable villain. And you can see he's got a rapid-fire cork shooter. So what we're going to do to give ourselves the upper hand is switch 
to a Trap Master, because they get a damage boost against all trappable villains. And we're going to bring in a brand new Trap Master, Gusto. Gusts and glory! And you can see, as soon as I bring him in, that his Traptanium Boomerang is actually glowing, which is to show you guys that you're going to get a big damage boost against the trappable villains. Now if I can evade the cork shots of Sheep Creep here, I'm going to defeat him and capture him. Sheep Creep defeated. Sheep Creep trapped. All right, so now we've captured Sheep Creep, and he's in this trap. And so now he's part of our trap team, and we can use him as a playable character. Sheep Creep. <laughs> and so now I get those rapid fire cork shooters. And in addition to that, I also get this explosive wool attack sending little cotton balls everywhere to attack the enemies. And what's really cool, and you might hear, is the awesome banjo music that's playing. Because each of our villains has their own theme songs. So when you capture them, playing as them feels really unique and really special. So you'll see I'm playing here as Sheep Creep, and he's able to run, jump, and push turtles just like a Skyland. But what's really fun is the ability to tag team between your Skylander and your villain with the touch of a button. Wait a tag burn minute. That looks like trap -tidium. I haven't seen that magical stuff in a long time. I'm guessing the arrival of trap -tidium might have something to do with you being here too, eh, compadre? Well, what are you waiting for? Go bust that sucker open with your righteously awesome crystal weapon! So while Gusto's Traptanium Boomerang could take out that Traptanium in the center of this area, I'm going to switch to another new Skylander. We're going to bring in Gear Shift. All geared up. And we're going to take Sheep Creep off the portal and set him aside for later. And as gear shift, I can use for shifting gears to take these enemies out, as well as break the Traptanium in the center of this arena. And you can see I can switch between her different abilities, the ability to kick chunks of her gear, or use it almost as a hula hoop. Let's take out this Traptanium here, and it'll take out the enemies for us. Superior and you can see by destroying that, we've unveiled an extra area full of treasure. Now what's really cool is that there's Traptanium hidden throughout the environment. And as you explore, you're gonna find hidden areas like this, extra collectibles, and even additional villains that you're gonna be able to find and capture when playing as a Trap Master. All right, springing forward. You're showing a lot of promise, kid. I like that. But if you really want to stay ahead of the game, you'll need to check out these elemental gates. They can only be opened by a trap master of that same element, and when they are, boomsticks! You now have access to a brand new area which contains a magical hat. Why do you want a magical hat? <laughs> Because they're awesome! And they make you stronger. That's the magical part. So it looks like we have a water trap master gate here. So what I'm going to do is switch over to a water trap master. And like Dark Food Fight, we also have Dark Snapshot. Rock and roll! You remember those bounce pads from earlier? Well, this here's a super bounce pad. <laughs> Take it and find out why. Ahoy! How 
did I get here without you seeing me walk past? <laughs> exactly. Secret ninja All right, commands. so now we've ridden the super bounce pad. We're going to progress forward and see if we can track down the gulper. It looks like we can't continue forward because we have a combat gate. So let's actually switch out from Dark Snapshot and bring in our last Dark Edition Skylander. We have Dark Wildfire. Bringing the heat. And let's use Dark Wildfire to take out these villains. All right, looks like our path is cleared. Hey, it's a Skylander! Best news I've heard all day! Soda! I must have soda! Another thought. If it's soda that Gulper wants, it's soda he's not gonna get. So all you need to do is bounce on over to that next building and destroy the soda vat before he can drink it. That ought to hold him for a bit. All right, so it looks like we're gonna have to prevent the Gulper from drinking all the soda. As you can see, all that sugary sweet good stuff is actually making him grow, attacking the city more. So we're going to progress forward here and destroy this soda vat before he can get to it. Alright. Past the mob who's having a party. It's a shame that the gulper's causing a ruckus because it looks like it's pretty fun. Oh, it looks like all the carbonation is getting to the gulper. We're going to have to bounce between these cork platforms here over the giant vats of soda to try and progress to another soda vat that we're going to have to destroy before he can get to it. All right, we're on Fizzle Wart's rooftop. Looks like the gulper is getting in the way of the soda vat, though. Luckily, there's another one of those charged and ready, overly carbonated soda barrels ready to go. Let's see if we can destroy this bat before he gets to it. Alright, took it out. Just had the most awesome idea, even for me. See these two vats here? This orange ambrosia cooler was named Soda of the Year. The other green stuff is bottom feeding suction eel flavored. It tastes even worse than it sounds. But if we can switch them up and trick the gulper into drinking the eel stuff, it might just bring him down to size. Well, suction eel flavored soda doesn't sound very good, so let's see if we can trick the gulper. Let's get rid of this orange ambrosia cooler. Let's see if we can trick him into drinking this nasty stuff. Well done. The gulper defeated. So it looks like by tricking the gulper into drinking that eel flavored soda, we've shrunk him down and he's now ready to be trapped. So I have a water trap ready to go and we're ready to trap him. Stay back, swirly thing. Hey, my trident. I just wanted to drink soda. And 
So now we've captured the gulper in this water trap. So he won't be causing a ruckus anymore in Soda Springs or Skylands at all. He's now part of our trap team. So thanks for watching, Portal Masters. I hope you enjoyed this look at Soda Springs, but we have a lot still to come. We've got more characters to show you, more levels, and even some surprises. So check back in with us, and hopefully we can show you more before the game comes out in October.